What is up, everybody? This is Jordan. So, um, I'm going to do an in-depth review on uh, Martin Transport, the company I'm currently working for right now. Um, I'm, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Um, you know, I've only been trucking two years in November, or October, technically. So, I'm kind of newish, but not super new. So, you might click on this video wondering, what's Martin Transport like, and are they good, do they pay good, stuff like that, how's the equipment, I'm going to answer all those questions. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of background of what I've went through. Uh, after I got out of the truck driving school in December, or no it was November of 2020? Yes, it was November 2020. Um, I got onto CRST because they offered to pay half of my tuition going to school for uh, my the truck driver or my CDL. And the agreement was to work with them and if I stayed there for six months or a year, my tuition would be paid off. But working for them, I didn't, eh, they're iffy. Like, the pay and work the life and all that stuff, it was not what I wanted. Don't get me wrong, I love traveling, I love looking, sightseeing and all that, because I went, I run out west, and then we went to New York, around there. It was okay, but man, being on the road all that time without playing video games or, you know, seeing family, but that's besides the point. Family's like the most important thing, but I'm a big gamer. So I, I was always bored, like, watching YouTube videos and watching Twitch streams on my phone. So it got really boring and repetitive. And my trainer there, he was really he was really cool, but he was a dickhead at the same time, which I don't mind. I played sports, so I kind of get the gist of, like, coaches and all that, trying to teach you certain things. And he kind of, you know brought me in because he was literally a mentor i was literally with him from november 16th all the way to december uh like the end of this december and i got home just before christmas mind you i was i didn't see my family on thanksgiving at all like i was on the truck I, we rolled in on thanksgiving day and my mentor he's like should they don't give you a ride back or like mess up something with the loads you know how dispatching is if you're a truck or if you're a current truck driver so i spent my thanksgiving with him he didn't have his family over either so we i spent thanksgiving two three nights at his place i slept on the couch he slept in his bed we didn't <laughs> sleep in the same you know area so I really appreciated that because I didn't want to be alone on Thanksgiving. No, no trucker wants to be alone on Thanksgiving. But when the CRST told me that I had to, it was mandatory for me to stay six months in a contract that I signed with uh, them at the beginning of uh, you know getting employed. I did not sign the contract. It gave you three options. You said you want to do a contract or non-contract or something else. I picked non-contract and then I paid my tuition and you know monthly payments. I financed my tuition if I was decided to leave, which I did. I left like right after I was done training. Went to JBS. I love that job. JBS Carriers is probably the top trucking company I've ever worked for. And they treated me well. The management and dispatch is top tier. Like it's really family oriented. It's a smaller. It's a smaller company. They're not like a huge mega carrier. But 
but I didn't have no nothing really bad to say besides they had training wheels on us as truck drivers and I know most truck drivers hate you know the bending system where you can't roll a stop sign or it beeps at you and the, uh, the you know the driver camera faces you and takes a snapshot you, you know the following distance of the truck starts beeping at you if you're still in that following distance for three seconds it flags you takes a picture and you get warnings and safety contacts you and you know you gotta go through all that crap and I hated that it got so annoying and you know the trucks are governed at 65 which wasn't a really big deal but you still feel like you're dragging at 65 but the Bendix system is what made me feel like I had training wheels like they didn't trust the driver so that's one reason why I left and then my driver manager he was really he's not he's he was a character, let's just say the least. He was, he told me everything. He was, he was a very, very good micromanager. Like, I couldn't do nothing. So I had to get out of there. So I left and I was there with them for five, six months. And then I came and found Martin Transport. Man, I'm on the Coca-Cola account. This is the most gravy job you can probably get. All, mo, like 85 to 90% of the Coca-Cola facilities are huge. Like you gotta be, you gotta be like a, you know, a Smurf or like a minion to mess up a back and in, backing into a dock. Don't get me wrong, there's some, there's some spots that are really tight, but they're doable. And Martin Transport, you're going from Coca-Cola to Coca-Cola, like 80, 85, 99% of the time. There's that 1% that makes you go to, uh, you know, different distributors, like non-Coca-Cola related, like to go to Sam's and stuff like that. But it's not really a big deal. Everywhere you go, it's, it's big. It's not, you're not going in, you know, tight, tight spots all the time. So that's why I like it, because that, that stressed me out when I worked for JBS, because we always went to Chicago, and you, you're always like on the lookout, like low, blit, ro, low bridge clearances, and you know, the potholes in St. Louis are terrible, just like Dallas, like they're terrible. And another thing about JBS, like their equipment was okay, they had pack car engines, but they, I, was, I, I always had a region every truck they gave me a new truck regent new truck regent it was it was so annoying i could i couldn't take it anymore so i just had to get up out of there here i got like a 2019 2020 kenworth and that was my favorite truck i almost had it for a year until i got hit by a drunk driver going to des moines iowa um com company didn't fire me we have dash cams uh guy stopped and like it was a two-lane road and we're on a highway and those emergency turnarounds are in the center median he tried to make a left turn onto that but he was in the right lane so he slammed on his brakes no signal nothing so I signaled got into the left lane to go around him he turned into me uh hit me on my uh blind side ripped up my whole truck never got that truck back they gave it to somebody else um, I told my one of my old truck back, but they gave me like a 2022, 2023, uh, 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. Man, this thing, I mean, I love it, but I don't at the same time because I hate the little rumble strip indicators because you be going through construction, that thing just goes off. And it's annoying, but it has a blind spot detector. And this thing, uh, lights up when there's a car like within the distance of your trailer like it stretches all the way out like 70 feet to your trailer and it'll detect if somebody's in your blind spot and I love that because people be sneaking up on you especially in St. Louis so I got this new truck and it's been good ever since no breakdowns nothing I've had no breakdowns since working at this company only once but that was because my uh 
had my electric line was messed up and I went to Love's to get a new electric line and they gave me a super long one and it, it got hot and it was, the friction was touching between the tires and it melted the service line and electric or service line electric line and uh emergency line and I had to get that uh replaced so that was my only major breakdown the pay the pay I mean it's way better than CRST and most other companies but the pay it's guaranteed but there is a lot of variables you got to show up on time you got to leave the house on time you got to scan in your paperwork you got to accept your trip confirmation you got to do all that stuff in order for you to get that guaranteed pay which is pretty easy you get in a routine and you have a whole bunch of steps to do on the Qualcomm to you know do your pickups and deliveries and once you did that you mainly you mainly set my days they're pretty long I'm not gonna lie I have a, a girlfriend right now and I have a baby on the way and she she just can't stand how long I've been gone like 14 hours a day for five days is a long time for a pregnant woman and she's she makes it makes her feel alone so they can compromise with that. I, I did a little bit of compromisation with asking them I need to be home a little bit earlier on certain days, you know. I call off some days, you know, just to give my uh, my girl the extra time she needs so we can go somewhere and spend time together. It's quality time is really, really important with family. But after that, you know, I... You can, if you run hard, like for those 14, or not 14 hours, but if you run hard for those five days for 14 hours or 11 hours drive time, your checks would be pretty good. Like, my orientation was top tier. You're only there three days. You do all your physical, but I need to warn you guys if you're getting a physical there, you're getting a physical at the terminal they do do the neck the measure your neck and they give you a CPAP they don't tell you that in the, uh, the rec recruiting thing they do measure your neck it's a piss test it's not you know they don't do a hair follicle but they measure your neck and you do uh, if your neck's over 16 or 17 inches, you have to take a sleep study. And if you fail that sleep study, saying that you're, I forgot what the word is, I'm drawing a blank. Sleep apnea, that's what it is. If you have sleep apnea, they will pay for your sleep apnea uh, CPAP machine and you're stuck with that. Beware, that messes up your DOT physical card. You could have, a, you could got a, a DOT physical card two days ago, a month ago, two months ago. That's good for three years or four years, however many it is, I forget. It messes that up and you gotta get a physical like almost every year or six months, something, something ridiculous. I'm a big dude, I'm like over 300 pounds. I'm a big dude, so. I passed because I got my neck's like 17 and a half, 18 inches. When I went in there, I, uh, they gave you this uh, thing to put around your finger and you sleep with it for only like five hours and then you can take it off. I passed. I didn't have sleep apnea. Most of the guys in my class took it and they had sleep apnea. And they were mad. I had one, one guy. He was so mad because he had a procedure done for sleep apnea. He had his tongue shaved and he had that, or yeah, his tongue was shaved, like the back part of his tongue. And then he had that little little dangly thing in the back of your throat cut off to prevent him from doing something. I forget what it was. But he had a whole procedure done 
the nurse called him from the sleep test facility and said he needed a CPAP. He had sleep apnea. And he had physical proof that he didn't have sleep, uh, sleep apnea and they still gave it to him. So he walked out, he walked out of the uh, orientation and ordered them to take him back to take him back to the hotel so he can go home. So he never got employed there. But other than that, it's smooth sailing. Like you work three days, like you're, I was hurting for money. Like everybody else is when they start a new job, like money's hurting. That bonus, you get a thousand dollars after that week's over. No questions asked. Full thousand dollars. Ain't no, you know, gross. I think they move it up to like eleven hundred dollars or twelve hundred dollars so you can get that flat thousand dollars, and you're good. Like you, that's enough to pay for your bills, and then they give you two days, two days off to uh you know move all your stuff in your truck and they sign your truck and then they start scheduling you loads and the loads they come in quick like there there is no if ands or buts about it like you get you're guaranteed a lot of loads i do five loads a week sometimes six sometimes seven in five a five day period so you're, you'll stay busy here. So the pay, I got I got a promotion Monday, I think. Yeah. Today's the, uh, today is July 14th, 2022. I got a promotion on Monday. My boss called. He said, hey, you've been running really hard and you've been, you know, doing these type things to really help us out and I, I was working like weekends. I was working everything. I was almost working six days a week for a long time because I was getting caught on bills. And my salary went up like three hundred, four hundred dollars. Like if if they see you working, they, they will accommodate you. And it's a blessing. I mean. If, if I didn't have other dreams, I'd probably retire here. But my other dream is to buy my own truck. I want a KW W9 with ba on bags. It has, you know, black black metallic paint with purple glistening, uh, purple sparkles in it. I already, know, I already know how I want to set up my truck when I can get the money for it. But that's what I want to be. I want to be an owner operator. That's my biggest dream. But uh, yeah, everything's everything's like gravy with this company. Just stay iffy. It's a little iffy on the benefits. I don't know what's going on with that thing. I still gotta figure that out. But I went and got a doctor's appointment. And I think the fee was like two hundred fifty dollars. The benefit, the benefits took care of it all. I didn't have to pay nothing out of pocket. But I'm trying to change some to something else because I don't have a baby on the way. But that's besides the point. But uh, I want to thank you guys for, you know, taking time out of your day to listen to this little uh, review on Martin Transport. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll try to answer as many as I can. But y'all stay safe out there and uh, keep this shiny side up. And I'll see you in the next one.